Aloha, and welcome to Books, Books, Books. I'm your host, Mihaila Stoops, and my guest is Virginia or Jenny Frank. She's an accomplished adoption and surrogacy attorney with offices in New York and Colorado and Oklahoma. Jenny and her company, More Choices Publications, has um, authored and published a guided infertility journal called Baby or Not, Here We Grow. Jeannie, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. And I have to say, I love the title. I love the play on words. And it kind of tells me what this is. But would you please explain to our viewers and myself, what is a guided infertility journal? This is kind of a hybrid product that we kind of put together because we saw a need in the community. And a friend of mine had actually come to me and had another friend of hers who had infertility issues, had not been able to have a baby, and was actively going to an IVF clinic. And she really needed something. My friend was like, well, I got her flowers the first time. Now we're having a trouble again, and she's going back to the clinic. And now what do I give her? And there's no product on the market. So... What we did was we put together a journal that somebody could write in and have their feelings about what's going on in their journey and their process of being infertile. Because it's for women, it's really a difficult time. And for men, I'm sure as well, but for women especially. Then we also put a guided uh, types of information where if you were infertile, this might be other options for you if in fact you can't get pregnant. And so we are really hoping that this meets the needs of people who are infertile, especially women, uh, through IVF, uh, through your OBGYN's office, or even at a infertility clinic. And hopefully we get the word out that, you know, you don't have to go through it alone. You can actually write down your feelings and um, people would would actually benefit from this product. And this is good for those that are supporting family members that are going through infertility and they want to help them. And you never know what to say. Nothing can be quite right. But here's a gift that the recipient can use as their their convenience. And um, it may bring them some uh, peace of sorts. Absolutely. We hope that people will get in touch with their feelings and be able to express their feelings with their spouse, loved one, their uh, friends, family, where they can discuss their infertility and all all the different psychological things that go through with it. Also, we are hoping that women can, who are going through infertility treatments that are taking all these meds, they're having ups and downs, and they can record them here with the medication, places for medication, places for dates, times, keep everything in one spot. We're also really hoping that this journal is something that they can look back on when they do get pregnant, when they do adopt, when they do have surrogacy, or maybe they just have at the end of the road a journal to look back on and say, I tried everything. Maybe I don't really want to parent a child and maybe that's okay. And so we're hoping that uh, this journal here can really um, help people in, in uh, throughout their life's, you know, journey. Are there any similar journals on the market or is this the first of its kind? I haven't seen one before, I must say. I, you know, when we decided to do this product and I got this large discussion with friends and I then I went to other people and said, do you really want this product? Do you think there's a need for that? Counselors, doctors, therapists, uh, OBGYN, physicians of all kinds in, in many states. They said, yes, we would love this product. However, we can't find anything that is really uh, anything more than just a, a journal to write in about your feelings, but it's not guided. 
you know, that there are lots of things that you might go through that you don't think about, but you really are thinking about them. And maybe you're angry and you don't really know why. This journal is going to be able to help somebody pinpoint maybe why they are really angry and the stages of grief and all the things that maybe they don't know that they don't know. And hopefully then they will understand what's going on with them. Um, we even have a section on acupuncture, which I think is something that nobody else thinks about really. They think it's it's maybe uh, something that they shouldn't do or something like that to get pregnant. But the truth is it's been very successful for a lot of people. Maybe people didn't even know that. So it's in this journal. And I'm making the assumption that with your experience in the area of adoptions and surrogacy, you've run across various um, situations and several professionals may have had to be involved. And can you tell us about the process and also of, of developing such a product, this journal, and what kind of professionals are involved? I assume, you know, there's somebody that maybe better at uh, providing, you know, spiritual comfort. And then there's some parts that, are, you know, referring to medication schedules and so on. So two different professionals, right? Yes. Well, what we did was we interviewed a lot of people who had actually gone through the process, which I think is your number one thing of, goodness, you went through it. What do you need? What did you do? Who did you see? And so we took their information about what the process was for them. Then we went to professionals. So there was a lot of IVF doctors that weighed in on this, a lot of social workers that weighed in on this, therapists, and people who were infertile. And then in, there is a small section on alternatives to having uh, your own child through natural conception. IVF is one of them, of course, going to a clinic. Um, there's egg donation. There's a surrogacy where perhaps you can't carry for some reason, maybe an unknown reason. And a lot of women don't know the reason, but they just can't get pregnant. But surrogacy would be an option for them if they wanted a biological child and wanted to harvest their own egg and harvest their partner's sperm. Or if, in fact, they... Um, would like to, perhaps they have cancer and they cannot carry, then a surrogate would actually be something that they might look at, but also adoption. And there's a section on adoption that just talks about the general things about adoption to introduce you to that, to kind of get you to think about this is just another alternative to having a child and parenting. We talk about a lot in this journal about the difference between being pregnant and parenting. And everyone is going to have to answer that question themselves of which one is really more important. And it may be that it's more important, the answer is more important today, but in a year or so, the answer will change and it's more important for the other. So this is a, a think, basically, book that can help people just go through the issues. And do you think that um, the graphics and maybe the quotes are inspirational? Did it matter? Would somebody say, oh, you know, I could just type up my thoughts in a, on my phone? I believe that the team that, that we have at More Choices Publication, actually, they put in the graphics. I have a wonderful graphics uh, lady. And um, I, the the director there at More Choices, she did all the quotes and uh, looked at all the different little pics and see what would make somebody's life a little bit fuller and a little joy to their life. This is a very heavy subject and um, it has a lot of fear going through when you were going through IVF and it's trying to those quotes and those pictures are trying to lighten up what is a heavy subject and hoping that you can uh, move through that. Do you have a certain part that you really like or you're most proud of in this journal? I, I believe that 
the whole journal is wonderful. Uh, I have never experienced infertility myself. However, my expertise is in adoption and surrogacy. And through those two things, I have helped build families throughout the United States and with surrogacy throughout the world. I'm really proud of that, working with the LGBT community, working uh, with all sorts of diverse populations. And so I'm really proud that this journal is not just a journal for you to write your feelings down in, but it does have quotes and questions that really make you think, but that you also can learn about some alternatives. It's not going to be, you're going to need a lot more education, right, on adoption and surrogacy if you choose one or the other. You're going to need a lot more, but this gives you the type of information where it's a starting point because I think that all of us, when we go to something new, it's kind of scary. And then we're like, where do we start? Where do we go from here? And so the proudest thing for me is that this is a guided infertility, infertility journal. It's not just a journal. And since there is no product that I know of in this field that has this hybrid journal, I'm really happy to have this out there for others. Well, and I'm, I'm sure there, I think what the infertility rate is about 15% for the US population. So you probably have a lot of uh, people that would benefit from, from it. Well, thank you. It's, it's now in Spanish and wow. it's, and it's uh, now on Amazon in Spain. So we're really proud of that. It'll be turned into Portuguese next. And we are selling it in the UK and next, probably after that, maybe India. Wow. So you're going worldwide with it. We are. Yeah. And like, do you have any other plans for other journals? We do. We have a series. This is the baby or not. Here we grow is actually a series. And so the next journal is going to be for adoptive parents. And it comes out uh, early August. The cover will be yellow. And it's going to help guide adoptive parents who have chosen adoption as the way to build their family. It's going to guide them through the adoption, private, private adoption, portion of the adoption journey, which is a lot. It's, it's actually a lot to manage. And so... It's going to be a journal that actually is partnered or paired with a video series that we've also put out uh, through Marketing Choices, which is the parent company. And yeah, we call it- Tell me a little more about this company because- you know, Yeah, Mark Marketing Choices actually was born out of just need and necessity for adoption agencies not having any training. And so- um, Adoption Choices, the company that my husband and I co-founded, has nine licensed agencies that were under Adoption Choices name. And the, so there are adoptive parents all over the nation kind of asking the same questions every day. So we the, the first video series was basically uh, came out of a need for to answer some of these questions over and over again, and to be able to have the couple be able to rewind, think about it, and move along in their life, and then come back to it. So that video series is going to uh, have this book, the new book for the guided adoption journal in it, so that you can actually write down your questions, write down prompts and things, and then discuss them with your partner or your counselor at your adoption agency or attorney or whatever adoption professional you choose. So would you say that you're self-published? Is that We are self-published. <laughs> and it's harder than you think. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course it is. But great ideas come in uh, when one is in need of something. So that's... But that's excellent. We hope to be able to touch thousands of lives for the better. The journals aren't that expensive. They are on Amazon. Um, so you could actually give it to a friend, give it to a family member, order it for them. Uh, they could order it themselves. And hopefully within the next few years, you'll see a flyer at your OBGYN's office 
saying something about the journal where you could actually put your camera to the QR code. So that's our goal, at least. So here in Maui or in the islands, would it be available just via Amazon or can I buy it? I don't know, Barnes and Nobles or how does it work? We, you can buy it at Amazon in Barnes and Noble. We have an application in for that, um, but being self-published, Amazon um, doesn't really like Barnes and Noble and Barnes and Noble doesn't like Amazon. So you have to have your own application for both. So we have, we're, we should have it in Barnes and Noble within six months. And why is it important to you that this is in other languages as well? And like you chose Spanish, are you dealing with a lot of clientele that um, may be using Spanish only or? Spain has, yeah, Spain has some of the highest success in infertility treatment rates in the world. And so they have a lot of great clinics there. And we actually partnered with um, several attorneys and doctors over in Spain that would had really a need for this type of, of journal to give to their clients so, and patients. And so um, I, I think too, Spanish is a language that is used around the world uh, for various countries, if not a first language, a second language, and it can meet the needs of lots of different people. Yeah, my first thought originally was that, oh, you know, there's a, um, a lot of people in U.S. that speak Spanish and may be more comfortable in, you know, dealing with their feelings and um, in Spanish rather than in English. I did. I was not aware about the fact that Spain has so much success in in this area of uh, infertility treatments and so on. So, very. This is all very, very interesting. Uh, I must say, and it's a completely new uh, topic for me. Um, so. And this might be, you know, the last question to you, but if somebody watches this, watches the show, what is the one thing that you want them to remember about this journal and your efforts in general? The one thing that I would want them to remember is that they are not alone. And if they're going through infertility, there is some sort of tool out here that can guide you through your emotions, even if you have nothing else. This journal will also be able to guide you to different professionals where you can get your questions answered and hopefully get through the uh, infertility journey, which is a tough one. Nobody ever thinks that they're going to be infertile and can't have a baby, but hopefully after going through this journal and talking to your doctors and professionals and seeing that there is not just one option, but many, that you too can achieve your goal of either being pregnant or parenting. Yeah, I, I put myself in, you know, someone's shoes. I fortunately have not dealt with this, but uh, with infertility, but I wouldn't even know what questions to ask if I were to to start you know, considering other options and what should I, I don't even know what to ask. So um, I'm thinking that this journal may get somebody to, may, it may give them like a, an overview of what the process may be and the That's things right. they need to consider. And then, you know, of course, they'll need more introspection and they'll need more details on the procedures and so on. And um, I just realized I have one more question for you regarding the content of, of the journal. Um, does it address um, or international adoptions? International adoptions are a subset of adoptions in the United States. However, those mainly have to go through the Hague Convention and that the United States has been in decline for international adoptions in the last, I'd say, 20 years. In the adoption journal, we do address international adoptions. And if you'd like more information about that, then August is the adoption journal and you can uh, look at that. So in August, this adoption journal would be available on Amazon? Yes, or... yes. Hopefully we'll figure out Barnes & Noble by then as well. And uh, it'll be a Barnes & Noble as well. So, you know, obviously I've, 
think I'm very fortunate they have known you for many years now, probably six or seven. Uh, knowing that the adoption journal is coming out in August, I'm going to ask, what's next? Surrogacy. So the next thing will be a surrogacy journal yeah. for those people that are dealing with infertility or perhaps the LGBT community that are same-sex couples or somebody who's maybe just single. And so it'll address all of those things in the surrogacy journal, which we expect to have by 2024. January. Wow, this is this is wonderful. I you know, I love seeing people that identify a need and they come up with a solution or a way to solve it. And I'm sure that this will, will help a lot of people. This oh, journal you. and and the ones that are forthcoming. Yes, I, I, I hope so too. Uh, right now it's just getting the word out that the journal exists. And um, that's that's the biggest thing. So thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure to come on, but yeah. it's it's very nice for you to yeah, think ab about absolutely. And we'll want you to be back here and tell us about the adoption journal and then the surrogacy one. And who knows what other idea you may be coming up with, right? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. They're exactly right. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. Well, thank you, Ginny. And to our viewers, um, please make sure you go on Amazon and find this journal and gift it. If you know somebody that is dealing with these issues, buy it for yourself You're if you're the one that is dealing with infertility. And uh, we truly hope that it's going to help you. And ahui ho. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please click the like and subscribe button on YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Check out our website, thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.